Good post-harvest handling will result in quality fruits and vegetables to sell in the marketplace, as well as increased sales. Fruits and vegetables, once picked, are not dead. They breathe, they can grow, and they can be injured and bruised. Once this happens, the produce cannot recover. That is why it is so important to handle the picked crops with care. While it takes months to prepare the land, install a drip irrigation system, and care for the plants, it only takes seconds to damage the fruits and vegetables beyond repair. Fruits and vegetables that have been bruised, crushed, or squeezed lose water vapor faster, are unattractive, and are easily susceptible to rotting diseases. All crops have the same general post-harvest requirements. The produce must be clean and free of contamination by soil and other matter, especially chemical sprays. There should be no visible animal or insect damage. No mold or disease. No cuts and bruises. The produce should be free of abnormal external moisture and chemical odors. The produce should immediately be kept cool in shaded conditions after harvest and while waiting for collection. And field crates should be washed and sanitized after each reaping. When cabbage is ready for harvest, the head should be removed from the ground, the roots cleanly trimmed, and the loose outer leaves removed, keeping two outer green leaves for protection. Once that is done, the head of cabbage is ready to be placed in a field crate. Some specific market standards and quality specifications for cabbage. Cabbage should have a clean, fresh, green color. Cabbage heads must not be overly mature with cracks or shooting of flower tip. Only outer transport leaves may have worm damage. The minimum weight of a cabbage head should be 2.2 pounds, or 1 kilogram. Cabbages should be harvested and delivered to the processor on the same day. And they should be transported in crates, never sacks. These photos are of tomatoes in the color break stage. It is at this stage when the tomatoes should be harvested. Some specific market standards and quality specifications for tomatoes. The shape of the tomatoes should be well formed and typical of the variety. The tomato should be free of soft spots. Tomatoes should be packed into field crates, not sacks. The stalk, or calyx, should be broken at the natural junction. The spot where the fruit was taken from the stem should look green and fresh. Specific market standards and quality specifications for hot peppers. Varieties of peppers should not be mixed. If stems are required, they must be green. This means they should not be handled by the stems and should be broken at the natural place. Peppers should have shiny skins, be free of excess marks, and not suffer from sunburn. Flesh should be firm without soft spots. Hot peppers should be packed into field crates, not sacks. This is a low-cost structure used to house the sorting and packing of fruits and vegetables once they have been harvested. After harvesting, it is important for the picked fruits and vegetables to be placed in a shaded area, away from moisture and heat. If kept in the heat, they will lose water and quality, causing them to be worth less in the marketplace. If a covered shelter is not available, the produce may be sorted in a shady area. Here, the farmer is sorting peppers under the shade of a tree. When transporting fruits and vegetables, use a covered vehicle so that the crops are not exposed to heat and loss of quality in transit. This is the pasteurization. 
we, uh, we generally wash the crates and sterilize them after reaping. Each reaping, we wash and sterilize for sanitation. So we have to live up to the Bureau of Standard Specification. So we wash them in and out. We use a brush and um, sterilization water. Um, after using that, we wash it out. We, um, we rinse it in, um, in a, a second water. Things to remember. Protect your crop from physical shock, piercing, or crushing. This means cutting long fingernails, using care with knives, and handling produce carefully. Never sit or walk on produce, even when it is packed into crates. And protect crops from sun, heat, and moisture. Once fruits and vegetables have been picked, they should be placed in field crates in a shaded area immediately away from sun and moisture. They should then be moved to a covered shelter or pack house to be sorted and packed. Doing these things will significantly improve the quality of produce and in turn, increase profits.